Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 Draft Story Mode. It's me, Cooper, and we're going to be training up the last few members of our team that did not hit 26 after that gym battle against Eliza. And the X-Transceiver is ringing. Let me guess, it's the random lady of the X-Transceiver I picked up. Hi, is this Cooper? Wow, so you're a boy. It's a little annoying that we can't see each other, right? Just so you know, I'm a girl. Oops, my colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. Girl, I am like 10 years old. You do not talk to me like that. You are going to jail. All right, and we got the twins, everybody. Let's see what they got. Baseball and Pokemon, eh? That's what you guys are into? Well, I need to train up my team, and you guys look like just what I need. All right. Now ah, they're really buff. I was not expecting that. Two Scraggies. Oh, God, I think Anita's in front. Ah, Anita's in front. Okay. Well, that might be an issue. They both probably know Faint Attack or Pursuit, so that's a problem. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try Body Slamming one of them, even though I believe they have Shed Skin. And you're going to switch into Embryo for the Poison Point. Yeah, Scraggy was a Pokemon we sadly didn't see get drafted. Rival Rick actually is a big fan of it and did not draft it. Why did I assume you were not going to get hit by a fighting type move? Holy shit, Spiel needs the most training and I got them killed. I expected the dark type move ignored the fact that you're- oh my god. Ignored the fact that you were a fighting type. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Nina, you're back in. I made a mistake. Ooh, I made a mistake. Okay, so... That thing raised its attack stat, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna confuse it. And you, my friend, you're gonna bite it. Because we need that thing dead. Yep. The one that got the Moxie Boost. That one needs to die now. And bite it. Let's see how much we can do to it. Ooh, with a crit. Okay, I'm getting so many crits. Does this game just have a lot of crits? And there's a payback, which is 100 damage, which means Nina's dead. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Did I just find two of the strongest trainers in the game? Did that happen? I didn't realize that's what I was doing today. Luckily, I didn't hit that one, so the payback will not be that deadly. It did way more than expected. Mm -hmm. Scraggies are known for their super high attack stat and tank stats, so I guess I should know that. But still, I'm in trouble. Oxide, how close are you to a level? Because we're going to need you. Oh god, you're going to level up. Alright. Uh, we're going to fake out the one that could kill us. And you're going to uh, bite it. Because you got a crit and did that much damage. Hopefully the confusion kills it next turn. If Oh wow, the fake out was good. And just like that, we got the kill, everybody. Oxide gets just enough experience to get to the level that they need to reach, which is good. 45 attack, 44 special attack, 47 speed. Exactly what I needed with the speed nature. And Brick Break on my Oxide, of course. Wow. My defense stat is pretty ass, but holy crap. The Moxie boost. Am I about to lose? Wait, with how many Pokemon I have left, I might lose. After a Moxie boost, payback damage, I'm faster than it. Yep, 100%. I'm, I'm about to feed it a Seed Waddle. Oh my god, I might lose a battle. This is going to be so embarrassing. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is It's already slower than me, there's no point. I can cut it. It's weaker, th it's, it's, it's worse than Tackle, but I'm doing it. Um, I guess I'm just going to Bug Bite, and then if they pay back me, I lose. Please don't pay back me. Please get a crit. I didn't get a crit. Oh my god. Please don't hit me with a payback. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The battle's over. I'm gonna lose. I'm actually gonna lose a fight. Embryo, it's up to you. He's got a double attack boost and his payback is deadly. All you could do is get a crit for me. Go bug bite. Oh, it didn't work. It's over. I've been embarrassed in front of all my fans. These random two jokester jokers, they just wiped me. Oh god, is this a bad sign for the upcoming rival battle? Oh my god, no. I never thought I'd see that screen. I don't think I've seen it in any of my other rival series. Holy crap. Granted, I've never had this limitation of like, oh, my drafted team must be this level. So, still, I can't believe it. I couldn't beat that guy. Technically, he did level up my my guy, though, so I kind of have to do this. Um, I'm horrified. I'm horrified with what just happened. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I apologize to all my fans. I know you expect more from me, and I failed you all. 
There's nothing I could say. I failed you all. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to just go out and, you know, <laughs> cry. We're going to go cry. Because I got to go fight them again eventually. And my Pokemon are not the good ones because they're fighting dark types. That counters everything on my team but Embryo. And Embryo can't beat them if they moxie up after everybody else on uh, my team dies. Which means since it's a double battle, I can't win. But I just remembered I brought my cutter so I could do this. Hopefully I find something good in here. Alright, found a heal ball. No, nope, not worth it. Not worth the cut. Alright. No joke. I don't think I could beat these guys with my current team. I, I just don't think it's possible. I'm going to attempt it one more time, but only once. And we're going to see if I can. Now, if I lose to them again, I'm just going to show... It's just showing you guys there was no chance anyway, but... Holy crap. I'm terrified. All right, backer Stu and Art. Oh God, Art, it's Arturo. He's not my next rival battle though. Is this a sign that I can't beat Arturo in the future? Or is this a sign that Arturo is gonna be really strong in this series? I don't know what this game is trying to tell me right now, but I fear it. I fear it. Wait, why is Spiel here and not... Why is Spiel here and not Embryo? What did I do wrong? Oh my God, what did I do wrong? Oh my God, why? Why game? Why, why? Okay, whatever. We could do this. I don't know how, but we're going to confuse both of them if possible. You know, as long as that one doesn't... Oh, yep, there's that. This feels slow. And Spiel could take one brick break, but not two. Don't do it. Damn it! Oh my god, the Moxie boost already happened. What did I, I... I was just talking about this crap. Literally just talking about this crap. I can't have this. All right, Embryo, get out there. We're going to need to do some stuff right now. So we got the confusion, but it failed. Um, you were not supposed to do this. This was not supposed to happen. Um, I'm going to confuse both. No, that's it's too risky. I'm going to thunder... Thunder... Parafusion. We're going for Parafusion. And we're going to bug bite it so it doesn't get its pay, uh, payback off. And if we don't hit the other one, the payback won't be enough to kill Nina. Because they need me to hit them first for the payback to be enough. So we bug bite it. And now... As long as it cannot land its attack, we win. Oh. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this fight. Screw it. I beat Aliza. I can't beat these guys. These guys are unstoppable. They counter my whole team. I If somebody throws a, a, a fighting dark type at me, I can't win. That's all this means. All this means is that if somebody throws a fighting dark type at me, I don't stand a chance. At all. I'll string shot for fun. It's over. I'm going to go ahead and Poison Tail the other Scraggy. See if I can get that crit. Oh my god, I got the crit. Payback, you're going for the kill to get the Moxie boot. Oh no, you're not. You're going to use it against me. And no Poison Point, sadly. Luckily, that kicked in, so its Moxie boost is going to work against it. That's probably the only time we're going to see that. And they did not go after the free Sea Waddle, which I do appreciate. So I'm going to just go for my crit uh, Poison Tail. Before that guy kills me. Because Embryo is in death range. Um, You know what I could do? And I w you never would expect me to do this on a random trainer. I could use one of those super potions I got. And I can give it to Embryo. And then if the crit doesn't work, I might survive anyway. If the confusion does or if the paralyze works. It's all up to luck right now. Alright, Poison Tail, crit, 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 no crit, and no confusion, and headbutt for the kill. So that thing can kill any of my team now. It's too strong, due to its Moxie Boost. The other one also has a Moxie Boost, I believe, or it does not, I can't remember. And it broke through everything to land the payback. Does it have anything? It does have a, mo there's no way it would do that much without a Moxie Boost. Alright, so I can kill the powerful Scraggy, but I can't kill the other one. Which means I have to rely on Confusion actually kicking in, which it only did once out of three. Or I have to rely on the Poison, I mean the para Paralysis to kick in. It snapped out. It got paralyzed. Okay. Now it's all up to a critical hit. Because I'm going to die to the next attack. It's all up to a critical hit. Go Poison Tail with the high crit chance. Go, go, go. Poison Tail! Come on! Nope. It's death. We face death, everybody. And we lost twice. This is the most embarrassing episode I've ever made. I don't... 
I don't know what to sell you guys. This is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Granted, it was supposed to be Embryo and Nina up front, but instead Spiel was up front, which was embarrassing. Um, I'm going to stay away from that side of the map now. As far as I'm concerned with my current team, I cannot defeat a fighting dark type. It's just not possible. Not Okay, maybe I could defeat one. I cannot defeat two fighting dark types. I'm going to get the rest of my levels on the other side of the map. That, that first side right there, it's 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 not Cooper accessible. Cooper will not be able to make it to that side of the map. <laughs> I will die trying. So instead, we're going to go to this side of the map. So let's go. Oh, shit. I don't remember all this. Hey, what's up? Dude, I just lost like two battles. You don't want me on your team. Team Plasma, nothing. We're just standing here. So what did you want with uh, bothering us with these questions? You didn't do anything? Not to me, at least. But I can never forgive Pokemon thieves like you. You're gonna feel my rage! Oh, shit! Yeah, that's right. Pokemon Trainer's gonna kick your butt, but I got his back. Well, you think 4v1 is fair? I got you, man. I got you. As long as they don't have fighting types. If I see a Scraggy, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna end the episode. It'll be an 11-minute episode. Go watch the rival battles instead. Alright. But yeah, one of the... The fact that one of those rivals was named Art kind of worries me. All right, a poison type trainer, really high level compared to me. Mm, poison beats my tank Pokemon, that's for sure. But we'll see if he goes for it. Oh no, he's going for tankiness. Okay. Yeah, a poison tank versus my ice water tank. If he poisons me, there's no way I win this. Mm, so I'm gonna have to switch out. Think of a different strategy with Embryo. I was thinking of going into Mistrevis, but I don't think a Hex is gonna do it for me. They're raising both stats. Sludge! Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I could take a sludge all day. You're only raising your defenses, not your offenses. And obviously, I'm going to go with the rollout. It's the only thing I can think of. Because it's the way I've defeated other Pokemon. My move will just get stronger and stronger exponentially, while your defenses only go up one at a time. Granted, the defenses are really good. <laughs> and the level difference is really high. But the fifth rollout would be able to kill you. And the only way you could kill me is if you spit it all up. Which means you lose all your defense. Oh boy. Yep, that was a level... That was a tier 2 rollout doing no damage. Swallow. They're going for the heal, but they lose all their defense buffs. So, totally not worth it since I didn't do any damage yet. Alright. Stockpile wore off. Now, this rollout did not as good as I thought. Trubbish is pretty tanky, though. Unless you run a weak armor one, but that's, you know, it's each their own. And the fourth rollout did matter. So there we go, guys. It worked out. Embryo gets some experience. Tiny gets some experience. Grunt, get out of our face. We defeated you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I'm getting bullied over the last two years, too. Oh, only two guys left. Looks like I'm up next. Just to warn you, I don't show more mercy. Well, that's fine. I didn't ask for mercy. I asked for experience. You think you're tough, lady? Have you seen my rivals? They're assholes. <laughs> they, they will kick my ass and, so, uh, and you will not. All right, Tiny, this might be a better matchup because that is a fast Pokemon that hits decently. Oh, but that move does counter you because it just guaranteed does half your health. But let's see if we can paralyze the fast Pokemon. Mmm, it's fully evolved and that's a problem. And it did half my health again. The next attack it does will kill me. Because it probably won't be Super Fang. And I need experience, so I can't risk it. Alright, Seawaddle, let's see if it has Hyper Fang yet. Because that's what I'm expecting out of it. It really didn't think it could kill me. Okay, never mind. Well, Seawaddle, it's your time to shine. Tackle. Why are you trying to Hypnosis a Seawaddle? That makes absolutely no sense. Why are you super fanging a seawaddle? None of this makes sense. I'm literally doing one damage. You need to use anything that isn't the two moves you've already used. I cannot believe this shit. What are you doing? Are you going to try and kill me with super fang? It only takes two more of them. Confuse Ray. Okay. I'm starting to think they don't have an actual attacking move. I'm honestly starting to think that. So, I'm just going to attack you one more time. Because, you know, you're just... You, you're frustrating me. And I... Oh, I snapped out. I can't... I can't be killed. It's fourth move has to be an attacking move, right? No, it's Super Fang. 
This is the tankiest sea waddle in the world. It's honestly almost got him to yellow HP. Or her, sorry. Hypnosis! It finally hit. 55 or 60 accurate move. I think it's 60 in this game, but it finally hit. And the Super Fang that does the killing blow. Once you hit 1 HP, Super Fang can kill. Alright, Nina, it's your time to shine. Super Fang can hit you. I'm expecting a Hypnosis, but you know what? If we could pull off a Thunder Wave, that'd be nice. Ooh, we're faster. I wasn't expecting that. Watch Hogs are known for their speed. Good job, Nina. Alright, and Confuse Ray. Interesting. I was thinking of doing that to you since, you know, I can't hit you with my Hex Attack. Alright, let's try that out. Nice job, Nina. Breaking through the confusion like that. Let's see if this guy's any better than you. They look crazy in the face, so maybe they're already crazy enough to hit themselves. They are! Perfect! And their defense stat is not the best, so one side wave should do it. Come on, side wave. Come on! Yes! We broke through it all! Accuracy low... I mean, our low accuracy attack and our death. So, that should be enough to kill it. Oh, it actually hit its attack. Damn. Well, I guess we can't hit ourselves while we're asleep, so that's nice. But I'm starting to think this guy can't hit me at all. In fact, Hypnosis might have gotten you killed. Alright, goodbye, Watchhog. We managed to defeat the Watchhog, everybody, which got Nina up and Tiny grew to level 24, starting to join the team. What's the big idea? The Pokemon I stole are useless. Well, don't steal Pokemon. They're in the wild. Go catch one. It's not hard to catch Pokemon, okay? You're searching for something? Oh, God. You hear that, Hugh? They're after something. Five years ago, Team Plasma stole my little sister's purloin. It had been given to her as a present. I was only a little kid. I couldn't do anything. So, so that's why I have to get stronger. Good work. I knew you had good instincts. Well, then. You healed me! Oh, my God. You're great. Thank you. We'll continue to get stronger together, Hugh. So you healed me, but you're going to the Pokemon Center. I appreciate that. All right, well, let's continue to train up our team in a brand new area of the game. I think we've spent enough time in Numbasa. Well, hello there. All right, let's just keep going. Ooh, Bianca! Hey, how are you doing? Nice timing. I wanted to give you this. Whoa, that's an HM. Okay. Ta-da! It's a hidden machine fly. When you use this move outside of battle, you can go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, yes, I do know about hidden grottos, actually. Wait. Uh-oh. She can sense it. Alright, so, hidden grottos, everybody. It is a new mechanic in Pokemon Black and White 2, and I believe it's the only game that has hidden grottos. So, what they are, there's hidden places in the map where Pokemon could lie. And they look like these trees that happen to be touching. You know how the trees don't actually touch? These trees right here actually happen to be touching. Which means that there's a hidden grotto here. And what that means is that you can find a rare Pokemon inside. Now, it's not usually a rare Pokemon, but there could be rare Pokemon. And these Pokemon may have their hidden abilities. You know, their dream world.